Hi and uh, probably welcome to a new video. I'm not sure uh, if I do make a video out of it, but if you see it now, I do, or I did. Um, yesterday evening, uh, I saw a few, or I saw new uh, traits of the lynx, and I just came back uh, from my camera trap, and on my way on my cam on my camera trap, I found new traces. Uh, it hasn't been uh, activity at my camera trap, but the lynx has been here in this area uh, all over the place. I see several trails. So uh, uh, in this video, I just will take you with me and we uh, try to see where the lynx uh, went. And if I might uh, find a new uh, nice position for a camera trap maybe uh, next season because the season this winter season is soon over so just uh, let's see and uh, uh, track these uh, lynx traces Look at this, here there, the lynx took a, took a shit and the piss. And there are traces there, there are traces there. I almost wondering that it's not just one lynx, but maybe two. There are traces over there, and there are traces going over there. Let's find out more about uh, where the lynx uh, went. traces look uh, quite new I believe they are from uh, from this night because it's plus degrees today it's a little bit melting and we also had snow in the air but these traces there's no snow so they look very fresh so these are probably from tonight this morning so the and it looked like that the lynx walked in this direction. So um, the lynx walked in there. Probably, I, I won't uh, catch up with the lynx today uh, because he will just uh, walk away from me. But uh, he has been quite close, and uh, he's just up uh, there probably. 
usually the the lynx um, at daytime try to find a higher elevated uh, position where he can rest and just uh, watch over the area to see uh, if uh, something is approaching so um, okay just uh, I think we just follow the traces and uh, look further and see if we uh, find more out uh, in which direction the lynx uh, went uh, this night or this morning. Yes, uh, it's definitely two lynxes and one of the paws are a little bit uh, smaller than the other ones and that means that it's very likely a mother with a kitten. Um, but in these of course I see there's some snow it, it has been snowing uh, when I was up with the uh, with the camera trap so but uh, they're still quite fresh so uh, they're differently from this night but here you can see that they're walking here and then the traces they divided one one walks there and the other one walk there and then they get together again and that's quite typical uh, for the lynx uh, that the kitten walks very often in the steps of the mother when they walk through the snow and sometimes the kitten just walk out of the traces before it get back again and here you see they come here they divide it and further there they get together again wow that is amazing Perfect. Okay, just last, let's walk uh, further and see uh, where they lead. Oh my god, it's not just uh, just two, it's actually three lynxes. There's one there walking in this direction. Then you have this line there, which is dividing in two again. There's one and there's one. So there are three lynxes. That's probably a mother with two kittens. That's just incredible. A new mother with two kittens, perfect.
the lynxes, the lynxes cross the, the trail here and that's over there, that's the forest where I have uh, my uh, photo height for the red squirrel and the lynx passing past here and walk over there. Right now, it's just one uh, trace left, so that's uh, that. Uh, my conclusion from the beginning that it's a female with two kittens probably is not right. It's most likely a mother with one kitten, but then there are other links. Maybe a male lynx. I'm not sure. Um, my wife. Uh, sound won't be too bad because now it's starting to get windy but my oh my god someone want to uh, destroy my sound okay uh, anyway I tried my wife uh, wake up uh, tonight at four o'clock because she, she heard really loud screaming and, and she thought there was humans uh, or what uh, some uh, badly hurt or uh, but she didn't saw anything and maybe it was the lynxes when uh, the mother lynx with the kitten and the male lynx uh, get close and confront maybe they uh, make the sound I don't know because right now this is just this one uh, one trace the other traces goes over there so this is just one trace so that might be the the male and then the other two traces are over there, so that's uh, mother and the kitten. Um, I still follow a little bit, a few minutes, uh, this trace before I call it a day, but uh, I want to see a little bit more where this lynx went. Lost in the woods, yet today if they wouldn't have found me I don't dare to sing but what I would have been without them Oh, thank you to magic for rescuing me Thank you to summer for fairies
Yes, what a day. Uh, but now it, it start actually snowing and I see that it's getting really dark and it just probably got more and more uh, snow. And you, I already can see that the traces start to, uh, to snow uh, away and uh, disappear. Uh, but the lynx probably walked further in there and I, I never know but uh, the lynx might even uh, sit high up there on the terrain and watch me right now. Uh, the lynx usually have walks around 20 kilometers a day and uh, or at night and a day he's resting on a higher point and now it's day so the lynx might be over there on a higher ground and just watching me and I have no chance to, to get close to him anyway. Uh, but this was a really nice day to find these traces. It's a long time uh, since I found uh, traces of a mother and a uh, kitten and today I found three different traces which is absolutely fantastic. Anyway, I call it the day. I hope uh, you enjoyed uh, the tracking of these uh, lynx traces and uh, see you next time.